If humans went extinct tomorrow, what would evolve back into us? What would evolve back into us? If you listen to that professor of ants, the ants are the ones that would take over the world. They now number so many that, and this is his statement made recently on uh, NPR, that the weight of ants today equals the weight of human beings. And they are a very organized society and they would begin taking our place. Whether or not they would ever become intelligent enough to build cars and other things like that, I don't know. But I don't know that uh, mankind will always be corporal anyway. What do you mean by that? I mean, I'm not sure that man always needs his body. That he might evolve beyond the point of needing a body. I'm a Star Trek fan. You know, there are things there where there are entities that don't have bodies and are still intelligent. And there's no reason to think that mankind wouldn't necessarily evolve in the future that way himself. Is there anything that we encounter that's like that now? Well, of course. What we're talking about is whatever the spirits are that are speaking into the recording equipment that seem to have a particular affinity for telephones, that turn on televisions when there's no one near and all of a sudden the television will turn on. I do believe that uh, uh, there are entities that are probably left over. Don't we watch the Ghost Whisperer? I mean, I like that. And uh, the other one where the lady sees the murderers and so on before they happen. I do believe that there are people out there with that. I do believe that that's part of me. Not to that extent, but I, I have said that I am remarkably non-accident prone when you consider the length of my life. I mean, people get in accidents, and I've been in a few car accidents, never to the state of being injured. I mean, each and every time, I've had no wound, no cut, no bleeding, and, you know, I've been hit, I've rolled over, I've had the lady drive the post office jeep out in front of my Datsun and had the engine practically land in my lap without any physical effect other than a stiff neck. <laughs>